Hello, John Arnold here with a quick tip on how to use Intensify or Snap Heal as a plugin to iPhoto. Uh, with credit to Jim Cole who told me how to do this, this is one of those questions I've been asked a bunch of times when I've been running webinars for MacFun. So here's iPhoto, and uh, you get to your uh, preferences by pressing Command Comma or going into the iPhoto menu and choosing Preferences. And you can see we've got a whole bunch of pages of preferences. The very last one is Advanced. And we've got an option here that says Edit Photos, and by default it's set to In iPhoto. If you click on that, then at the moment it says In Snappy or Pro. But if you if you do this for yourself the first time, it will ask you to choose an app. So you choose that, and you find in your Applications folder the application you want to use. And I could use Intensify, or I could use Snappy or Pro. Here's Snappy or Pro. I'm going to choose that, and then it will be set this way. It'll say Edit Photos in Snap Heal Pro. So that's the first thing, but that's not the only thing you need to remember. So I'm going to close that, and I'm going to come to here, and I'm going to edit this photo. So if I double click on it to bring it up, I can right click on it, and it gives me two options Edit in iPhoto and Edit in External Editor. So that external editor is going to open Snap Heal, which is what I want. So now I can do whatever edit I want to do. So I want to take that little mark out of the clouds there. Right, and I'll click the Erase button. So now that I've done my edit, I need to save this back over the top of the version that I was given. So I've got to press this Export button, and that's going to Save As. And it's going to give me the name of the file. Now here's the tricky part. You need to remember, if you don't do this step, iPhoto won't notice you've made the change. So you need to put on the end of the file name .jpg. That's if you're working with JPEG files. You must remember to put .jpg on the end of the file name. When you click Save, you'll know it's worked because it's going to say that file already exists. Do you want to replace it? Say Replace. And now you can close Snapheel and iPhoto will notice the change. So it's as simple as that, but the key thing you must remember is to use is to add the .jpg on the end of that file name. Otherwise, iPhoto isn't going to notice that you've saved the change. So uh, if you uh, if you like uh, Intensify or Snapheal or Focus or any of the MacFun products, I am running regular webinars on the MacFun website. So if you go to macfun.com and there is a learning button here, and uh, there's a webinars button over here. And if you go down to here, you can see all the upcoming webinars. There's three left this week. I'm, I'm doing one next up on Wednesday, and I'm doing about two a week. They've also got a bunch of regulars on the MacFun website doing webinars pretty much every working day of the week, um, and they're all free. So please come along, join me for a webinar, and uh, I've also got a promo code to give you to get a discount on these MacFun products as well. So thank you very much for watching. I'll hopefully see you at a webinar. Bye-bye. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.